All right, how's it going, gamers? It's me, Refresh Broccoli here, back again for a brand new video. Now, today we're going to be talking about the funniest woman alive. And no, I'm not talking about Lele Pons or Amy Schumer, all right? Because last time I watched any of their jokes, I burst out laughing so much that I literally couldn't breathe. I'm not sure if I couldn't breathe from requesting for somebody to close my windpipe, or I just genuinely couldn't breathe from the amount of laughter I was in from their epic funny jokes. Probably, most likely, the first one. Either way, I, I, I really want to stay breathing. So instead, I'm going to be taking a look at somebody who doesn't do the epic funny a lot of the time. And that certain person is named Lily Sings. And Lily Sings is so talented with comedy that some businessmen decided to give her her own late night talk show. And when I first saw this, I thought, oh, YouTube Red is making some uh, late night shows now. Wow, interesting. But no, this show airs on NBC at one in the morning, which is like, bruh, because uh, my bedtime is eight o'clock. And if I was caught cool watching it at one in the morning, then I would be severely beaten. And apparently a lot of people can relate to that because it usually averages around 600,000 viewers per episode. So, you know, you may think, oh yeah, 600,000 people per episode. So, you know, I thought that maybe people were just not able to watch this at one in the morning. So I went on to the official Lily Sings late night TV show official YouTube channel and decided to check out their views because, you know, surely if everybody is asleep at 1am, then people who will watch it, who missed it because it was their bedtime, will go and uh, watch it on YouTube. Uh, which they don't, because the channel usually averages uh, around 5,000 views per video. Which, you know, that's pretty poor compared to the 6,000 live viewers this series gets, alright? So, you know, what's making people not want to watch this TV show? So, yeah, we're going to investigate this today and see what really is the problem with the late show with Lily Sings. So, yeah, sit back, grab some popcorn and get ready to hear some epic jokes from Lily Sings. This is gonna be so epic, gamers. Let's go. Now, I know there are guys out there thinking, why don't we have an International Men's Day? Good luck, because you do. It's actually on November 19th. But you wouldn't know that because you're too busy celebrating it every other day of the year. <laughs> Fun fact, November 19th is also International Toilet Day. <laughs> now oh no, did men just get called toilets? Bruh, that was so epic funny. Calling all men toilets. Genius joke, I must say. Um, please, uh, feed me more jokes. I remember I asked one guy if he knew what IWD is, and he said, yeah, can you believe George Bush lied about them being in Iraq? <laughs> Bruh, do you understand the joke? Man is not very smart. That was so epic, Lily. Uh, thank you for that joke. So you can sort of see the problem with the show by watching very few clips of it. She sort of makes the same sort of jokes over and over again. Straight white guy is bad, you know, that sort of thing. And you know, you'll get the occasional joke about a vagina every now and again. People uh, rightfully said that the show wasn't very good. And uh, she actually addressed it in her own show uh, by dancing to all uh, the hate comments, all right? You see, the thing is with Lily, she doesn't understand the difference between criticism and hate. And you know, this clip just sort of gives you all the evidence you need to make that claim. I do have a lot of terrible YouTube comments. So I thought we could take a minute out of tonight's show to have a computer read a few of them while I dance to the beautiful words of my hater. This is literally the worst thing I have ever seen. Who gave her this show? Who was like, oh hey, let's give the most unfunny person ever a show. Literally a comment saying how unfunny she is while she's doing an unfunny dance. You literally can't make this shit up. This is real, all right? This is, oh my God. I can't believe this is a show. It would have been perfectly fine on YouTube or anything that isn't TV. Ah, uh, she did funny Fortnite dance, everybody. Finally, she has become a true late night host. She's doing Fortnite dances. Thing is, her doing the floss and then somebody saying that this show is really bad reinforces how bad the show is. Or Lily seems desperate to make the audience laugh and unfortunately, <laughs> in my case, only very really, rarely really did this happen. Plot twist, the audience is actually clapping at the comment for being so correct. We're actually one of the few shows to have 100% fresh ratings from critics. Can we take a moment? <laughs> 
I mean, your show has 90% on Rotten Tomatoes from critics, but, you know, all right, just go lie to everybody. The thing is, it's not even something to brag about, all right? Because The Last Jedi got something like 92% on Rotten Tomatoes, and we all know how that film turns out. And the funny thing is, if you look at the audience score on IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes, you can see that it's on 1.8 out of 10 on IMDb, which is really shit, and 18% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is probably even worse, all right? And this is what the general audience thinks of you, you know? The public, all right? And no matter what the critics say about your show, if the public thinks it's shit, no one's gonna fucking watch it, all right? You know, out of this terrible TV show, a lot of YouTubers came out and, uh, you know, they sort of reviewed the show, uh, said it how terrible it was, and uh, Lily wasn't very happy with this. So she put a tweet out saying this. Imagine making a living by posting mean videos to YouTube. The downward spiral, the bad energy, the karma, the entitlement, the lack of creativity, the waste of potential. Young kids, don't follow this example. It's not good for the soul. Damn, Lily, you really did just dab on the haters. I love how she says they have a lack of creativity when her show uses the same type of jokes all the time, and it even steals jokes as well. Glad to see brown people in the audience. That's nice, you know. Of course you'd be here at the taping. It's free. Um... <laughs> so excited. I am so happy to be here. And by the looks of it, a lot of you are happy to be here too. <laughs> it's, it's mostly the brown people because this was free to attend. <laughs> but I know for sure. They're just like scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And I'm like, oh, your index finger does work. <laughs> I had a boyfriend once who was constantly on his phone, just swiping and swiping and swiping. And I was like, Oh, interesting. So you do know how to use your fingers. <laughs> I love how she makes a comment about posting mean videos, which, you know, is a bit hypocritical when you bully straight guys like this. All the sad, sad virgins who attended the straight pride parade in Boston. We have a gift basket for you, of course. <clears throat> First, here's a hat to help protect that bald spot at the back of your head. Now, I know about what it is, but all racist white guys, you're missing a lot of hair at the back of your head. <laughs> Next, we know how much you love marching, even though you have absolutely nothing to protest. So we got you this, a huge bottle of sunscreen. It, we don't want you to get sunburned because then your skin would turn red, which is a color. And we all know how you feel about people of color. <laughs> Finally, here's a penis. Suck it. You know, definitely not mean at all. The one question I have about the whole show is how does Lily make the audience laugh? She tells the most unfunniest jokes and somehow she gets a reaction out of them like it's the funniest shit they've ever heard. I have a theory that when all the audience enters the showroom, uh, a firing squad walks out uh, and it goes behind the camera. And it, they sit there the whole time and she, Lily comes out and she says, yeah, laugh at my jokes or you, you're all gonna fucking die, okay? Oh, so, uh, yeah, case confirmed, case closed, uh, very epic. The one thing that I can take away from this educational and inspirational and life-changing video is that Lily Singh's show will inevitably be cancelled, all right? It's just not bringing in enough views. It's also boring unfunny it adds nothing new to the table it's basically exactly the same as all the other talk show shows uh but somehow it's uh, much worse i think it will serve one purpose though and that's it's gonna be a good torturing technique okay playing these episodes on repeat will send a person chronically insane okay you'll be able to get any information out of them that you need you know i might use this as my own torturing technique okay because my kids bop cds they're getting quite old now they don't really work that well all I can say is, Lily, thank you for creating this show. It's a great torturing technique. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you for coming along. Gamers, I salute you. Goodbye, stay home, stay safe, and yeah, farewell.